In this video, you'll create a serverless slash command in Matterroast with a free tool called Pipedream. The command will not only check the health of a service, but also start different Mattermost playbooks depending on the results. My name's Andrew. Let's get started. Pipedream is a serverless platform and workflow service with hundreds of triggers and actions for different apps and APIs. It's open source and free, and you can build workflows in response to all sorts of events, both on your APIs and APIs of others that you want to ingest or otherwise transform. It's an easy way to add functionality to pre-existing services without having to create and host yet another server. Here's what I'm trying to accomplish. I want to create a slash command on Mattermost that will ping my API and determine its status, if it's up or if it's down. And depending on the information I receive, I will want to trigger specific playbooks that help me handle the situations I'm likely to encounter, such as responding to an outage or running a retrospective. But more on that in a moment. First, I'm going to set up a slash command on Mattermost with whatever keyword we want. In this case, I'm going to use ping. And then once I receive the endpoint URL, I'm going to give that to my pipe dream workflow. And this is going to be what feeds in the information for the workflow process. Next, I'm going to add a get response webhook. That's an action pre-built right into the actual platform. So I don't have to make anything special. I can just put in the endpoint for my status check that I want this workflow to hit. From there, I can just tell my actual workflow to respond to the original request made, which was my slash command, with a uh, formatted message for Mattermost that uses our markdown attachment. Notice that I can use the variables from the earlier step where we asked my API and got a status check from it. We can reuse those variables again later here when we send the information back to Mattermost. This is the ease of pipe dream at work, which allows you to share information between these steps and build sophisticated workflows. Because we want a little more complexity than just doing a webhook request and sending back information, we're going to write our own JavaScript code block that makes our own requests and then handles that information with whatever logic we decide. This is the true extensibility of the platform because you can plug in outside modules and build up your workflow from a shared source. In our custom code block, we'll use PipeDream's web request API to talk to our own API and retrieve the status. If that fails, it will respond back to the slash command asking to start an outage playbook. But if it succeeds, it will parse the information and return a status message. And if certain metrics exceed quotas or something that was predetermined, it might ask to start a playbook related to that metric. Back in Mattermost, we can create the playbooks as necessary for these different situations. First, I'll create an incident resolution playbook for the outage situation. I can customize this as I want later, specific to what I have to do to solve an outage with my service. But for now, I'll create the playbook and grab the URL. I can use this URL as a link directly in the response from our slash command. I've also decided that I want to hold a retrospective after the hundredth monster has been made with the API. To achieve this, I can create a playbook from scratch or from a template with the steps that I think are necessary to hold a successful retrospective with the application I've built, and I can add relevant team members to join the channel when that event happens. Here's my slash command in action when my API is down. It asks me to start an outage playbook directly from the message. And here's a response when one of my metrics meets the requirements to trigger a playbook. Here, there's a link to trigger a playbook in the information returned. And this is only scratching the surface of what you can do with Mattermost and Pipedream. 
You can save information across multiple runs using Pipe Dream data stores, or even create cards on Mattermost boards to log each event. You can extend your pipelines by creating logic kept in source control. That way you're scaling efficiently and openly. With these tools at your disposal, what will your workflow look like? Thanks for watching.